What's up guys, welcome back to another Paladins video. In this video I want to talk about Shaolin and give you my opinions on him. He's been out for about a week now and I think that's enough time to really give a fair opinion on how he is. Now, whenever a new character comes out, it doesn't matter in what game, everyone calls him or her OP. Now, this is mainly because no one knows how to deal with him or her yet, so it's easy to make the assumption that they're just overpowered and need to be nerfed. This is a completely normal thing in games like this. Now, is he really OP though? Now, I wouldn't really say so. I'd say he's pretty good, but he's no top pick and he's definitely not OP. He is in the damage dealing class, and honestly, other damage dealers like Cassie, Victor, and even Drogos are a lot better than him. They can arguably get out damage a lot easier than him, and they can also be in the fight more than him because of their style of play. Now, here's the thing about the damage class. When it comes to pointing the Euro P finger at characters, they are really the ones that you mostly see getting it. I have seen more requests for Victor and Cassie nerfs than any other character. When damage dealers are left alone, they can tear up the team. If you don't have a good flanker or damage dealer constantly keeping an eye on and dealing with the enemy damage dealers, then they're going to give you a really hard time. Notice that in most really good gameplays, the player isn't really being targeted at all. So if you and your team leaves Shaolin to go about his business with no consequences, then he's most definitely going to seem pretty OP. But if you get something like a buck on him, then he's not really going to be too much of a problem. Let's go ahead and look at his kit now. The two things I hear complaints about the most are his Q and his alt. What his Q does is it plants him in place and he continuously fires arrows out for a few seconds that deal about 800 damage apiece if I remember right. His normal fully charged arrows do 1100 apiece to put it into perspective for you. Now because his ability leaves you immobile for its duration, you're putting yourself at great risk using it. That's its balancing factor. If you manage to get yourself in a good position where you won't be noticed, this ability can put in a lot of work and easily take out key enemy targets like supports and even whittle down tanks to nothing. It's a high risk, high reward ability. If you keep Shaolin in mind and pay attention to where he is or where he's going, then this ability will never really be a problem for you. As for result, what it does is it makes you invisible and it leaves an image of yourself every time you fire. This alt can make it very difficult to target him. If you're close enough to him, you'll see him and you'll be able to take him out. I can't really say this is OP either. Is it annoying? Yeah, without a doubt, but any usual way of countering an alt can also be used against his as well. The last thing I've seen people mention is the hitboxes, and I won't lie, these are absolutely massive. It's like he's not firing arrows at you, it's more like oak trees. Now, these are probably this big because it keeps him useful at an average skill level, so not just really high skilled players will find use with him. Knessa is the same way, she has pretty big hitboxes herself. If he was to be nerfed, then I'd say the hitboxes would probably be the best place to hit, but I think keeping him useful to a large range of players is worth the relatively minor annoyance his hitboxes can bring. Having characters that are arguably detrimental to the team isn't really something that's good for the game. There's already a few after all. So taking all that into consideration, I think he's in a pretty good place. He's good, but not the best, and he isn't too hard to kill with his low health. In a competitive game, I'd say he's probably a good last pick, but nothing anyone is really going to want to pick up first. If you're having problems with him, I'd say make sure your flanker is staying on top of him, and if you don't have a flanker, then well, he isn't really exactly what you should be complaining about. And that's pretty much it, guys. Those are my thoughts on Shaolin. They could change. He is still relatively new. Gonna keep playing him, and most definitely keep playing against him. And that's pretty much it, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. I very much appreciate it, and I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye!